Hey everybody, Mike Merritt here and welcome to this training entitled How to 16X Your Profits with the Same Amount of Traffic. So let's get right into this training. In this training, I'm going to show you how and why um, Warren Buffett, Starbucks, McDonald's, and the Warrior Forum, when you take all their secrets and combine them together, they hold the secret to doubling your leads, doubling your sales, and doubling your profits in the next 90 days. I'm also going to show you why the old model of trying to get more out of your traffic is broken. In addition, show you a few real world case studies. And I'm also going to show you the one big secret to success in any market, which if you use this secret, you will flat out go out there and dominate. So uh, real quick, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Mike Marin. Uh, most likely I'm exactly like you, just I've been at this a little bit longer than you have and I'm probably way more obsessive uh, than you have. I uh, caught the internet marketing bug after reading Tim Ferriss's great book, The 4-Hour Workweek in 2007. And that was at a time when I was being miserably unfulfilled in my job as a mechanical engineer at Westinghouse. And uh, I did what everyone does, you know, went online, bought a bunch of products, studied everything, uh, had basically no success for around the first year, and then started seeking out and started to work one-on-one -on -one with the people um, teaching the courses, got pretty good at copywriting. Sort of that was my in to working with uh, a lot of people that you would know their name if I mentioned it. Uh, so right now, basically, I'm an internet marketer, uh, direct response copywriter who specializes in creating sales funnels to sell premium price info products and services. My clients have included top ClickBank marketers like Corey Ross, Travis Sago, worked for big corporations like Force Factor and a bunch of other clients that you probably know, especially if you've bought in products by any of the big sellers on the Warrior Form. So let's just get right into it. So the one big secret, and this really is the game changer. This is, um, this is what changed everything for me, getting this one secret. So I hope that it's a life-changing for you. So the greatest competitive advantage is having the ability to spend more to get a customer. And I'll explain what that means. So why is this such an advantage? Well, it allows you to spend more money on advertising. You know, if you could spend more to get a customer, then uh, quite frankly, you can spend more on advertising. Uh, most people, they can't, they don't set up their business as I'm going to show you. And as a result, they spend their time uh, going after free traffic, trying to game the system or spending their hours, you know, writing articles, which is really $5 an hour work. Um, other reason is it also allows you to pay out more to JV partners because if you can afford to get uh, more customers, then uh, if you can afford to spend more, that would, you know, mean you could put up prizes, attract JVs. And, you know, the keys to getting JVs is, you know, JVs care about two things. They care about a good product and they care about money. So, the you know, most people have good products. The rest of the part is being able to spend more. So, um, you know, and this ultimately you get more traffic from JVs. You get more, you're able to buy more traffic. Uh, that equals more traffic, which equals more customers, which equals more leads. And as they say, the money is in the list. So there's really two approaches that you could take to being able to spend uh, more money than your competition to acquire a customer. The first pro approach is sort of the Silicon Valley approach. Uh, all the, a lot of the tech startups do this, is you go out, you raise a boatload of money, crap load of money, and you run negative until you hit that critical mass of customers. And this is something that Amazon.com did, which basically they were losing millions of dollars every single year, uh, but they were uh, having that critical mass. Uh, and most people, the reality is they do not want to go negative. A lot of people in business um, are fearful of going negative. So the other approach is to have the highest 30 day average customer value in your market and be willing to break even. And that is done with the sales funnel. That's that diagram over to the left. So basically you want to have a sales funnel process that makes more money, uh, gets the most juice out of the traffic that you get in your marketplace and be willing to break even. And then if you're able to do that, everything is gravy uh, after the sales funnel. So I will show you how that's done. So a couple sweet drawings I made. 
This right here is the affiliate model um, that is taught. Um, and basically, uh, the reason I threw this slide in there is I want to persuade people not to be affiliates. Because first off, you have no control. You got no customers. You don't get 100% of the profit. There's no leverage. There's not a lot of room forever. And it really goes back to um, anal a great analogy is being the fisherman versus owning the fishery. Uh, it's much better to own the fishery and have other people go out, you know, catch the different baits of traffic and bring them back to you. So that is uh, really that. And if you look at everyone successful online, you're never going to, it's not really a business model because you're never really going to be able to spend more than your competition if you're not getting 100% of the profit. It's pretty simple. So this is sort of the basic product creation model. And uh, I would say 90% of people online, this is what their business sort of looks like. Maybe there's one upsell, but it, you know they're buying traffic either from solo ads uh, and they're sending it to a sales page. The product's normally around 47 bucks. And uh, they have a return path for the prospects. And if they buy, they have a customer list and they sometimes send uh, broadcasts and that sort of stuff. So right here, you know, they really have a $47 sale. They focus all their effort on that flagship product and not really the best situation. You know, if you only have $47 in your funnel, uh, maybe you do some affiliate offers, you're really not going to be able to go out there and spend the most money. Not only that, even if you give away a hundred percent commission, the most you could pay affiliates is $47. And really, this is the model a lot of people have and what they do is they think okay how can i get more earnings per click uh well the way is to become better at copy and you know they go out they hire copywriters and that's sort of the old model and it's sort of broken it's sort of like how can we really suck out the most juice out of just this basic product creation model and the way is you know to get better at writing the emails and better at copy but there is a much much easier way and um like i said so there's it, there's really two ways the old model that was you know to go get cheaper traffic or to focus on the conversions and that's sort of a broken model here right now is the what i call my lead blitz blueprint and this takes that flagship flagship product adds an upsell sequence to it and adds uh, a low ticket offer and um you'll see i have some of the secrets written in there and also a slack adjuster so by having this in your 30-day sequence having um a low ticket offer an upsell maybe recurring uh income like i said 47 dollars a month and having a slack adjuster right now that alone will allow you to spend a lot more to get a customer for instance uh you know if you have a low ticket offer you give away a hundred percent commission on that and then they go to your uh, upsell, which is really now your original flagship. You could pay out 50%. Automatically, you're paying out 10 plus 50% there. And then you pay out 50% of your you know, upsell. I'd actually recommend two upsells, which I don't have in this diagram. So this is sort of the game plan. Again, most people just have that lead magnet and the flagship offer. And here is what I would recommend. And this is what works for really increasing the lead. So here's the lead blitz game plan. So you have one lead, one or more lead magnets. And this is just basically, you know, your squeeze page. The next is one or more low ticket offers. These are just kind of uh, whatever's hot in the market. You stick out a really low ticket offer. And, uh, you know, it's a low barrier of entry to change someone from a prospect to a client. The next is the flagship offer. Most likely, if you're in product creation, you already have that. The other one is uh, the profit boosters or upsells, and there's many different types of those. And the last thing I recommend is the Slack adjuster. And uh, we're going to cover that. Again, it's not as difficult as it might seem to be able to sell pro uh, products at the $1,000, $3,000, even up to the $10,000 price range. I mean, you need a very small percentage of them to buy it. So let's start off. Like I promised earlier, we're going to go over all the different secrets. And this is um, with a big breakthrough for me. This is Warren Buffett's secret. And this is the margin of safety. So this is sort of like his uh, philosophy for investing. And basically what he does is he aims to buy stocks at a discount, which is below intrinsic value, so that even at the worst case scenario, he can still do well. So how this translates into 
marketing online is you really want to have it set up so that in the worst case scenario, if your conversion rates stink, um, if you have to spend a lot of money to get traffic, um, you still want to be able to turn a profit. So what most people do is most entrepreneurs insist on good results from bad economics. And that basic model is what I would consider bad economics. The economics is just simply $47. Um, so to make that work, you need a great conversion rate and you need, be, need to be able to get traffic for cheap. Now you can do it. It's certainly possible, but there's not a lot of room for error and there's a lot of skill involved to be able to get free traffic. That's a skill to be able to, you know, convert traffic, uh, you know, at a $47 price range and make those numbers work is a decent, decent skill. So what you ideally you want to aim for is being able to um, have, you know, longevity in the marketplace comes from bad results from good economics. And again, this slide here is, you know, the key to wealth is to be able to buy advertising and turn it into profit. And that's what happens when you have um, sort of good economics. So one of the easiest ways to shift the economics in your favor is with a low ticket offer. Um, right there, you can see Columbia Records. Uh, I was at a, you know, watching a, a videotape of a seminar and the guy asked on the seminar, how many people have bought that in the audience? And almost like half the place did. And that just is, shows you an example of a low ticket offer that, that uh, and Columbia Records actually got 15% of the market share with this one offer. You know, one dollar and you got 11 records and basically what that is it's sort of a they're probably breaking even on it maybe even losing money but uh they're flipping people from prospect to customer so the keys to a low ticket offer is you want to flip a prospect into a customer you want to over deliver so one of the keys is you know you really want to uh you know this is the relationship this is where it's built you want to build trust uh, a great technique in these is if you want to give them results in advance, whatever you give them for 10 bucks, if you could get them a result or closer to their goal, boom, you got them for the next high ticket thing. Um, a really bad example of this, I just got, uh, watched the Wolf of Wall Street. And uh, what he was able to do was they were, their markup was on the penny stocks. And, uh, you know, there's basically no markup on selling the blue chip stocks. But what they did is they offered the blue chip stocks first uh, to build the trust with the client and then they back into the penny stocks. Again, not a, it's a good example of the technique, but the application of it don't really agree in, but the, the idea is there, you know, you want to offer a low ticket offer to build trust over deliver, give them results in advance. Uh, the key to it, the key to a great low ticket offer is you don't sell it. You offer it. You really, uh, this is the copywriting for this is pretty simple. You just, it's really about creating an awesome offer. Last little tip is you either want to have it be a trick, tactic, loophole, or something diagnostic. Um, a big mistake I see people do with a low ticket offer is they make it their flagship product. And what that does is it really uh, lowers the value of your actual flagship offer. You don't want to ruin your positioning. And the way to keep your positioning is by selling a trick, a tactic, a loophole, or something diagnostic or something specific. You know, one problem, one solution, not the flagship product that solves sort of every single problem. Uh, some great examples of this is like, you know, 43 ways to increase your email conversions, you know, very specific uh, combination of tricks, tactics, and strategies. Okay, and the coolest thing about the low ticket offer is, okay, is actually, it taps into the amazing power of commitment and consistency. So for anyone who studied uh, Dr. Robert Cialdini's works, Influence, great book, highly recommend it. Um, he talks about how people want to be consistent. So, you know, you would think um, like the normal method is, you know, 1% conversion rate at a $47 product. And that's pretty good. Um, you get 470 buyers. Again, you could get higher than a 1%. But for our example... So you get 400 and uh, so 1% is 10 buyers, 470 bucks, and you have 10 opportunities to upsell. Now what's interesting is just if you throw a squeeze page in front of it, you can normally bump up the conversion. So you have squeeze page, you get 50%. Now that conversion is going to be around 3%. You're going to sort and sift people as long as the messages are 
consistent. You know, they're congruent messages. So here you're making 750 bucks with that same, uh, and I'm assuming a thousand um, visitors. So just by throwing a squeeze page, because the power of commitment and consistency, you now have 15 buyers, you've made more money, and uh, you have 15 opportunities to upsell to those 15 buyers. But here's what's interesting, right? The $7 secret, uh, this was really popular in the warrior form, and that's why I call this the warrior form secret, uh, is they have an uh, area in the warrior form called the warrior special offer, and uh, you know they sell thousands of products at a $7 product, and what really what it does, um, you know, you get higher conversion rates, you get buyers. So what they were doing is they were offering seven dollar products at four per, you know, they get a four percent conversion rate. You even get higher than that. But uh, you know, let's say four percent, that's two hundred eighty bucks. But the cool thing about that is you uh, you have forty eight buyers and you have forty eight opportunities to upsell. And uh, again, if you keep things commitment and consistent, so really the lead blitz system, and this is the system that I use. Uh, when I take brand new clients on and we do five figure launches on the actual warrior form or JVZoo or anywhere, but it takes advantage of this lead generation system that comes from outside the warrior form that I was using in other markets and, you know, puts it on steroids just because you're hitting a hot market. So let's the lead blitz system, you know, 50% from the squeeze page. Now that bumps that conversion from that $7 offer up to around 14%. So that's 75 sales. Uh, from those 75 sales, you know, if you get 20% to take a hundred dollar upsell, which would be your flagship product, the total thing now is you had 75 opportunities to upsell, uh, even more stuff too. So you have more buyer leads, but you've also made $2,025. And that's just that power of commitment and consistency. And these are sort of like, you know, these are general numbers, but this is normally what you're going to see across the board. And just by putting that system out like this, you're going to make a ton more money. The EPCs are going to be a lot higher. And what I mean by earnings per click is, you know, every click or every visitor that comes to your website is going to be worth a certain amount. So in the first uh, example, um, a thousand clicks, doing the math in my head, I shouldn't be doing math live, but it's 47 cents a click. When in the lead blitz system, you're getting $2 and uh, $2 and two cents, two and a half cents per click. So as you could see, if you're going out and you're buying traffic, um, you know, in the first example, if you're buying solo ads, which are normally around 50 cents a click, um, you know, you're you're losing a little money. In the second example, sending that same traffic to a lead blitz system, you're now making a dollar fifty for every click because you know you're making two dollars a click, but it costs you fifty cents to get the click. So there is the power of this. The other power that the lead uh, and uh, lead blitz system takes advantage of is a profit booster. This is a secret that is uh, a lot of marketers don't use, but it's literally staring you right in front of the eyes. Anytime you go to McDonald's, they use this this secret to make a ton of money, and really it made their business. So McDonald's, the bottom line um, for the restaurant is they profit roughly six cents per burger. Um, not a lot of money, but their all their money is actually made in the upsells of Would You Like Fries and Coke with that, which is really one of the best examples of an upsell ever. And the key is, is that first sale really takes care of the cost of traffic, and now those profit boosters are where the money is made. So that's exactly uh, what you can do for yours, is because the reality of this business is, is you're going to have to pay for traffic. There's no such thing as free traffic. You're either going to put in your time or you're gonna pay for it with your money. So you need something to offset it. Um, what I did, which was really stupid before, was I didn't wanna pay for traffic, so I actually was writing Squidoo lenses and articles, and um, that is, you go online, you get an article for like four bucks, so, or three bucks. Um, so if you're doing that kind of work and you're expecting to make $100,000 a year, it's just not gonna happen because the value in the marketplace of an article is that much. So a, a mistake people make is they spend all their time because they don't want to um, spend on traffic doing a low value activity. In reality, the best way to do it, like I said, the key to wealth in that slide earlier is to be able to buy advertising and turn into a profit. And one of the ways you do that is by setting up a funnel just like this. And then, you know, you're going to spend just as much time on setting up the funnel as you are, you know, writing 100 articles. It's just where do you, where's the high value activity, you know, um, 
how much do product creators make, you know, which is the same effort to write an ebook for an upsell as it is to write a hundred articles. Um, product creators get paid a lot more money than article writers do. So it just shows you where uh, you should be spending your time. So the upsell pitch formula, really, really simple. Um, again, I want to make this easy for you to add this to your business is really thank them for the purchase. You know, Hey, thanks so much for checking out the name of XYZ product. And then, um, tell them really why it's awesome. You know, in this product, you're really going to, um, be able to double your conversion with your email. And then what I like to do is a line, which is, uh, you know, here's something else if you're interested. And basically you just tell them, you know, here's what I got. You know, I got this other course and it's going to, um, uh, and here's sort of, you know, I'll put up the next thing. Basically there's two types of, uh, upsells that work really well. One is speed and automation, which is any way to speed up the result from the first product, uh, first product or any way to automate it. One thing you don't want to do with your upsells is you don't want to discredit, um, what you just sold them. And you also don't want to say, well, here's what you got, but it doesn't work. And actually you need this, you know, that's, you're not really playing fair. You want to play fair. Um, another cool thing to do and what works really well is it solves the next problem. So say you're selling a traffic course, um, what's the next problem? Well, they're going to have all this traffic, but now they need to convert it. So a great upsell would be, you know, a conversion course, or, um, say you're selling a traffic thing, a great thing to sell, um, selling a course on Facebook traffic, a great thing to sell would be, you know, here's a piece of software, which, um, you know, makes images for you or something like that, you know, builds the ads for you and automates it. Again, this, um, using internet marketing examples, but this works in any sort of industry, uh, you know, in weight loss, you could simply, um, you know, you sell the course and then, you know, maybe the next problem is, is they're going to have to know how to cook the meals. You know, you tell them what to eat inside. Maybe they want to eat healthy. So the next problem might be, well, how do you, you know, cook it? There could be instructional videos on how to, you know, of you in the kitchen, uh, showing them the next problem, which is basically, you know, how to create, uh, how to have good tasting meals within the diet, which is what you sold in the first book. So after that, I like to say, here's what this is going to do for you. This is basically the benefits of the upsell and then you simply end it off where here's what I want you to do next. And normally that is, you know, click, click the buy button below. It's fully guaranteed. Check it out for 60 days. If you're not happy, send me an email and I'll refund you all the money. Uh, really, you have nothing to lose by taking, uh, taking advantage of this offer today. So that's the basic upsell pitch. And again, adding upsells to your business, to your bottom line can do a lot. Um, you know, this works regardless of uh, any niche. Um, for me, this actually, I've only been in internet marketing niche for around a year. All before that, I worked as a copywriter and sales funnel guy outside of the internet marketing space, mainly in the relationship niche and the weight loss and health niche. The next technique, and this is the Starbucks secret. This is the Slack adjuster. So the Slack adjuster is super key to any business and if you don't have one you're simply leaving money on the table so i call this the espresso machine principle and it's really a secret from starbucks is they sell an aroma espresso machine for 275 bucks they also sell one for two thousand dollars the reason why they're there is they're no dummies you know hotels have a thousand thousand dollars per night suites on the top floor uh, another example would be ten thousand dollar first class seats there is going to be a percentage of your customers that are going to want to spend and have the absolute best so the marketing truth is is even if you have the best traffic and sales pitch in the world if your pricing strategy is lousy you will wind up broke so that's what i see with a lot of people is they're you know they're just selling seven dollar products or seventeen dollar products and they're just leaving this money on the table. So the 80 20 rule, this is um, it's graphics from Perry Marshall. And basically, the 80 20 is fractal, meaning that in every 80 20, there's another 80 20. So, one really cool thing about the 80 20 rule is you can judge uh, how much people are going to, how much people are going to spend for things. So, say you have 100 customers that spend $100 each. So, you collected $10,000 in total. You know, using that curve, 
Um, that would be sort of in the middle, but if you go up to the right, you'll find that the least interested person, because not all customers are created equal, there's an 80-20 curve between your customers, you'll find the least interested one will spend uh, 27 bucks, and the most interested will wanna spend 1,400 bucks with you. So that means if you're not offering some sort of elite package and just making that offer, you are leaving money on the table. Like if you're in weight loss, if you're not offer offering, you know, email coaching or a 12 week boot camp for 495 online course, you know, you are leaving money on the table. So again, the source for that is 8020curve.com. Um, and really that is um, a easy, easy way to grow your business. So this is the power of geometric growth. So this is sort of the new way. So say for, uh, ooh, I got those backwards. Um, say for example, you're making $500 a day. If you two X your leads, that's $1,000 a day. That's pretty easy. You could do that with a low ticket offer. Double your conversions, that's probably the hardest part uh, that really comes down to copywriting and having a good copywriter with you. That's the old method, but again, that still works for doubling. So say you double your conversions, it, that's your sales psychology, you're up to 2,000, now you 2X your profits. That could easily be done with the profit boosters and the slack adjusters, you're now up to $4,000, and say you 2X the frequency of purchase, which again is a strategy that I didn't have to cover, which is basically, you know, the frequency of purchase, you know, by adding a membership site, doing, you know, what I call a bucket offer. And now you're up to $8,000. And again, all those are, are you going to, you know, that's a 16 X growth. Now, are you going to do that every single time? Absolutely not. But there's what I call the margin for safety. When you're using all of these tactics to increase the value of your traffic, you know, you might only get an eight X increase, but that is way better than that old model of just focusing on the conversions and trying to get a 2x increase. So my sort of question to you is, uh, first off, I hope you got a lot out of this. And, um, you know, would you like to apply this in your business? You know, if so, let's build your first lead blitz funnel together over the next 90 days. So here's uh, really how the process works. Um, step one, we're going to get on the phone. And together, we're going to map out your marketing funnel. And this is something that I'm very good at you know, fi figuring out what your assets are, figuring out uh, what your talent is, and then really getting it together into a lead blitz system and making it all work. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is create your funnel content, figure out, you know, what's your low ticket offer, what's um, your upsells, you know, what's a good Slack adjuster, how do you sell the Slack adjuster? There's, you know, there's millions of different ways you can go about selling a Slack adjuster, you know, you know, maybe setting up a continuity program to get that, re, you know, to increase the frequency. Um, you know, we'll go about how to do that. Next thing we will do is, you know, deploy your system, show you what are the technical aspects you need to do to have a system like this working in your business. So here's the bad news. Um, this program is not for everyone. Um, I only have time to work with 10 people at a time because it does involve a lot of uh, work on my part and it's a big time commitment. So a couple things, um, you must qualify, you know, not a huge qualification. If you click below, uh, you'll, you'll get over that. And that's really just to knock out people that, um, you know, are gonna waste my time. Cause again, I'm, I'm gonna be hopping on the phone. Um, and you have to know that this is appropriately priced. Um, you're working so, with someone um, who's been doing this for the last six years. So, uh, and it's one-on-one -on -one time. So if you have any questions uh, on how to use this and how to apply these secrets into your business, apply for a strategy session now and let's talk. And um, you know, one thing I don't want this to be is sort of a you know sales pitch in disguise. You're actually going to be talking with me, uh, and you know, basically, you know, we're gonna we're gonna map this out, how to use this in your business, and then I'll ask you at the end, you know. Do you want to go out and do this on your own or do you want me to help you? And that's really what this is about. This is about, um, you know, helping you get to the next level, taking your business to the next place in 2014. So with that said, I uh, really hope you enjoyed uh, this presentation on how to apply those four secrets, how to 16 X your profits uh, in the next 90 days. So with that said, um, look forward to uh, talking to you on the phone. If not, you know, enjoy, have a good day.